now, come on. If Joshua took him, then he's going to announce the winner soon. And I'm not missing that. He led me back to the center of the bar room, just in time for the lights to dim and the spotlight to shine on Eric. Now that I was looking for them, I could see the similarities between Eric and the Count. A hushed silence descended through the room as everyone waited in anticipation for the winners to be announced. Same eye shape. It's finally time for what you've all been waiting for. Same hair color. I know you've all worked hard and soon you'll know if it paid off. Same height. But first, let's reveal the prizes. Same boyish smile. The first prize is a one-of-a-kind set of jewelry fashioned by upcoming jewelry maker of the year, Reno. Next is a lamb bueno. For those of you who are in car enthusiasts, it's a very limited edition car capable of amazing speeds. There's also an all expenses paid trip for four to the Melodies for two weeks. The kits are transferable so they can be given away as gifts if the winners aren't interested. And lastly, there is a magnificent frame painting of Kippy painted by yours truly. The crowd grown loudly at this. Okay, I kid, I kid, I didn't paint it. It was painted by an up and coming artist though. Now remember, all four of these prizes go to the winning team to divide however they wish. Okay, and the winners are... Mr. Wolf, Mr. Bandages, The Count and Miss Archer! Congratulations! Give it up for them everybody! The crowd pours into applause even as Mr. Bandages and I stare at each other in shock. Holy crap, we actually won! Please come up to collect your trophy. Yes, there's a trophy too. Mr. Bandages and I made our way to the stage and I noticed Mr. Wolf and someone dressed as the Count do so too. Mr. Bandages fixed Eric with a glare. That car is mine. That's for you to discuss with your team, it's no matter of mine. We did it! We did! The Count just remained silently smiling. Aren't you excited, Count? I watched him put his eyes wide and dart around before he noticed. The cow has a bit of a soft throw, Mr. Wolf. Oh, I'm sorry, cow, and I hope you feel better soon. Mr. Wolf looked at the cow for a moment longer. Is it just me or is there something different about the cow? Oh, you know what they say, you look like a totally different person when sick. I guess you're right. I looked close at the cow and noticed a few subtle differences from the face I had grown used to seeing. They weren't major, but definitely enough for someone who was looking closely to notice. And that concludes the final night of a Valdemar game! There's still plenty of food, drinks and music, so don't hurry up just yet! Enjoy this final night! He gave the others a final handshake before coming to me and offering a hand. Meet me later, Ed. Before he could finish his sentence, the crowd had converged on him once again and pushed me away. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing that happen. Now, back to business. The car is mine, divide the rest however you want, but no one else is touching that car. Oh, and Kyan says he wants the keep it picture. We all turned to him in shock. Don't look at me. He mouthed that he wanted it. I just sleep red. So that just leaves the trip and the javelry. The javelry is beautiful, but I think it will suit you much more than me. Oh, then you can have the trip. Well, I'm not sure if I have three other people I want to spend two whole weeks with. Why don't we all take a ticket and have a reunion one day? The tickets don't have an expiration date. That sounds awesome. Hey, Mr. Wolf, didn't you say you would sing us a victory song? I did, didn't I? Well, go out there and show us what you've got. You just want to know who I am. I won't deny that. Now, are you gonna sing or not? I'll do it. Mr. Wolf spoke to the musicians that were playing before heading towards the mic. He seemed like a different person as he grasped it. Okay, if I can get everyone's attention, I would like to dedicate this song to my newfound friend. I spent two unforgettable weeks with them and I hope they enjoy it as much as I did. A familiar tune began to play and head swivel in his direction. Oh gosh! That's Tiger! I touched Tiger! That timid wolf is Tiger? Where wonders never cease. Damn, Mira's going to be so jealous. He finished his song and smiled at us. Before being carried away by a sea of screaming fangers. Should we help him out? Are you kidding me? You want to jump in there with those vultures? I learned my lesson after the one time I tried to help Eric. 
No, thank you. It's safer to create distraction. I've already used a my distraction. Do I even want to know? No. No, you don't. Well, I still think we should help him. And Eric will never forgive me if I let something happen to you. Fine, I'll help, but I'm telling you now, it needs to be big. We began to plot a way to save Mr. Wolf and escape from the bunkers. 